So I've come across this little challenge where I needed to figure out how I could get these files that have been put into a folder that needed to be appended together, but they had two header rows. So what do you do? And if you wanna know how I got from this to this, I'm gonna show you. So let's head over to my laptop. If you want to follow along, the files that I'm showing on screen right now can be found in the description below via a link to data.world. So as you can see, I had this issue where I was sent some data that needed to be saved on a weekly basis into a folder and can be transformed. So then the team can actually just pull analysis from it themselves than me needing to do that. So how do you, one, pick up the latest version to be the one you want to do the headers, two, being able to actually merge these two together to create one header, and then three, join them together so you just have them in one table. So how I did this using Power Query is, if we head over to my Power BI desktop, is first thing I needed to do was get data and then go down to more and then select folder because that means it will pick up every new file that's added to that particular folder. So we click there and then wherever you save these two files into a, one of its own folders, that's where you need to point the folder root to, to be able to get this information and then click OK. And then you get to see the number of files it's found. So at the moment we've got the two, so that's absolutely fine. And then what you wanna do is click on combine and transform data. This way we can then move into actually transforming the data. You just need to click on where it says timesheets because that is the tab name on the sheet. And then once you can view the data, just click OK. And then once that pops up, you can now see Power Query has tried to work out what you needed, but we now have these extra rows, which have the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays in, but they're not actually shown as column headers. So what you want to do is start looking back on the steps to be able to find out, okay, at what point did this happen? So we kind of go back here. We know it's not that one. And this is the point of where the files have been loaded in and ready to transform. And if you click on where it says transform file and the table, we can see down here that we have the data. And so for weekend in the 23rd there, and then weekend in the 30th there. And as we can see, what the transformation has done has made the first row, it's already been promoted, and the second row, it's kept as it is. That doesn't help us at the moment. What we want to do is edit within this one. If we then duplicate, we can start doing basically a transformation just on one of the files for now. So all we need to do is delete back till we get to the one here. So here we go. So this is the one. And then we want the most recent table to start off with. And we can go into here and go table. And then you open it up and then you can start building out how you're actually going to do your transformation. Now, the first problem here is we want to be able to merge these two together. And to do that, we want to be able to basically transform the data to move everything to be columns. And then we can merge the two columns together to actually give you one header. The issue here is that only works if you have both of these on row one and row two. So to get around this, you can just demote header. So if you go up to here where it says use first rows headers, use headers as first row. And then that pushes them down. So now you can then do a transformation. So what you need to do is go up to transform. And then from here, you see transpose. And what that will do is basically move your table to the left. So we now have all our column titles on here, which is great. And then we can just click on both and then do merge column. And then if we do a separator of space and then we do OK, and then we've got the columns and then we can go transpose again. And then we've got all on one line and then we can promote header like that using first row as headers. And now we have one row of all headers, which is great. But we've got this weird thing where it says column seven and column eight and everything. And you go, why does that happen? So if we go back, we can see when everything was promoted, this point here, it's got column seven because it didn't have, it was blank. So it's just given it a name. So when we demoted headers, it's actually brought in the name that Power Query gave it. Now that isn't very helpful. And you don't really want to sit there and go change values, column one, column two, or anything like that. So if we look where any went null, we can see there's nothing there. We want the same where it says column seven, column eight, column nine, etc. We want those to be null. But the problem is if we go back to here from this point, we've already had our headers promoted. So what do we do? This is where what we need to do is change where Power Query decided to do the transformation. You can see in this step, 
what it's picking out is done promote headers. So if we take away promote headers, it now pushes it down and makes it null. If we go back to our copy, this is broken now because from this point, we don't have promote headers because we've got the vote headers. So if we go back to the original, we can see these have already been demoted. So now we don't actually have to demote the headers. And if we go back and delete all steps up until that point, and now if we click through the latest table, we can see the steps have now added promote headers. So we just delete those two steps. So we go back to the transform table, which show no promoted headers. So you still have the original headers on row one and two. So if we go to transpose, we can now see nulls in both columns. And then if we go to merge, put a space and then click OK. And now we have our merged columns without the additional column wording. And then if we go back to transpose, we now have all our titles on row one. And then all we need to do now is promote those headers. And then once we've promoted the headers, we'll have the additional duplication of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc., with an extra number at the end because you can't have duplications of the same column names. So now, great, we have exactly what we need to do our transformation on all the tables. But then how do we get that transformation on all tables under our original timesheets transformation? So now if we go back to the one thing what we need to do is be able to use the latest version as our top table. So it uses those headers first for the merge. So what we need to do is now go back a step and then go to date created and then pick descending because date created would be the latest version. And then if we come back down to that step and then transform that out, we will now see all columns and then with the latest one at the top. And then as you can see, we can see the older file doesn't have the additional columns. So what we need to do is go back, delete that, and all those transformations we did here from the point of transpose table and then merge columns and then transpose table again and promote headers. Those four steps we want to be able to do on all the different sheets. So if any new ones get added, those get the transformations done as well. We want to be able to take the next step after the transformation has happened, which is transpose table. So we just want to take that M query, copy that and then go back to the main one we want to change, add a new column and then under custom column, don't need to add a new name, paste in the code. And then the step you need to change is where the transformation happened. And this is where you need to add what the previous step was. And in this case, it was transform file, which you want to just replace that column title and it will give you that logic. And then if you just click OK, you will then get this custom column which will show you each table that has now had a transpose happen and as you can see when we click on the other one it's done exactly the same and now you know how to do that we just need to repeat every other step so we go to merge columns take the code again this time without the additional equal sign then we go back add a column paste in again and then add in the last column that we added which was custom and once you've done that then click ok and then if we have a look at that, we can now see the merged two columns and then we go back and then we go back to the next one, which is transpose table one, copy that, go back again, add column, don't change the title, paste in, change the step name, replace it with custom dot one and then click OK. And then if you go in each one, we can see now that's transposed back with the line on row one with all the headers. So now the last thing we need to do is grab the promote headers one. So we go back, take the M code, go back to our um, timesheets, do custom column, paste that in, change the step to custom dot two, click OK. And then if we look now, we now see our promoted headers. So now we've done that, we can just delete our duplicate and then we can go back to our main one. We can just delete all the other columns. And now we've done that. We just expand, don't use the additional column name prefix. And then we have our final table all merged with the additional 
columns and then any with the old table will now have null under them. So all the data falls through and is all up to date. And if we click close and apply, we can check the final result and we click on our table. And then you can see here, we now have both files all appended together with the latest information and the previous information, but then keeping any of the old data without the data because it didn't exist. Now, some of the titles are still not perfect. And obviously, if you wanted to change anything else with where you've got the blanks instead of a zero, you can go back into transform and you can edit the titles, add in anything that's null to show zero. You have all those bits that you can do to transform all the way to the end.